Attention all my Queen fans in the Renaissance crew. Friday, October 12th, 8 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Lazar Radio will be holding a two-hour Bohemian Rhapsody movie special in which they'll be playing music from the movie soundtrack, clips from the movie, and chatting with guests in studio, including yours truly. Now, if you want to tune in, all you have to do is go to lazarradio.co.uk forward slash listen. That's L-A-S-A-R-R-A-D-I-O dot C-O dot U-K forward slash listen. What is up, Renaissance crew? I am the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and you're watching Da Vinci Reacts. Now, I know you guys have been asking for some more Bo Burnham, and yes, I've learned that's how you pronounce his name. Um, something that was requested a lot was his song on God's Perspective. Now, I'm going to go ahead and check this out. Before I do, just a quick heads up. Bo Burnham does have a YouTube channel. Um, it's just Bo Burnham. All you got to do is just type it in. Um, this is where this clip and I'm sure some future clips that I may end up reacting to are going to be coming from. So be sure to check out his uh, channel. It looks like he also has the full version of this show on his uh, YouTube channel. So if you want to see the entire special that he does, be sure to go to his YouTube channel and subscribe, like, um, and everything else. If you want to, I, I usually keep the original link in the description box down below, so you can always use that to get to this video, and if you want to get to his channel, at the end of my videos, I always have a link that uh, leads you to the content creator's channel, so be on the lookout for that too. Let's go ahead and check this out, and you guys already know my opinions about religion, but I mean, I'll end up getting into them again. <laughs> um, there's things that I don't want to come across in my show that I worry often come across about me, because people don't realize that it's an act up here. I don't want you to ever think that I think I'm better than people, or that I think I know better than people. Um, anyway, sorry, okay. This is a little disclaimer that you have to put before every video when you're about to say something that could easily offend somebody. It's sad that we live in a time when we have to do this, but this is something that we do have to do. <laughs> uh, this is a song from the perspective that of That being God. said. <laughs> you think I wrote are way too thick <laughs> who needs a thousand metaphors to figure out you shouldn't be a dick <laughs> and I don't watch you when you sleep surprisingly I don't use my omnipotence to be a fucking creep <laughs> you're not going to heaven <laughs> Why the fuck would you think I'd ever kick it with you? <laughs> None of you are going to heaven. There's a trillion aliens cooler than you. <laughs> That's sad. That makes me feel depressed. <laughs> um, yeah, if he had om omnipotence, it wouldn't really matter if he wanted to be around you when you're sleeping or doing crazy things, he wouldn't have a choice in the matter. He would always be around you. Am I right? I know it's a joke. You should okay. abstain from <laughs> rape just because you think that I want you to. You shouldn't rape because rape is a fucked up thing to do. Yeah, I was about to say, it's kinda, it kind of seemed like it was going dark. Don't fucking rape people. It seemed like it was going dark, but... Do you think I had to write that one down for you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think masturbation is obscene It's absolutely natural And the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen You make my job a living hell I send gays to fix overpopulation Boy, did that go well <laughs> You're not going to heaven <laughs> Eat a thousand crackers, sing a million hymns. None of you are going to heaven. You're not my children, you're a bad game of Sim. <laughs> Sims is the shit. Stain from pork just because you think that I want you to. <laughs> You can eat pork, because why the fuck would I give a shit? <laughs> I created the universe. Think I'm drawing the line at the fucking deli aisle? <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
That's funny. You argue and you bicker and you fight. Atheists and Catholics, Jews and Hindus argue day and night over what they think is true. But no one entertains the thought that maybe God does not believe in you. You <laughs> pray so badly for heaven, knowing any day might be the day that you die. But maybe life on earth could be heaven. Doesn't just the thought of it make it worth a try? <laughs> My love's the type of thing that you have to earn And when you earn it, you won't need it Oh, my love's the type of thing that you have to earn And when you earn it, you won't need it I'm not gonna give you love just cause I know that you want me to Love, then the love has got to come from you. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah, I will be checking out the full uh, video or for the full special. I won't be able to react to it because my camera has a 30 minute limit to it. But um, yeah, be sure to check out his channel, like I said. Um, now, Disclaimer, <laughs> what I'm about to say may offend some people, but um, these are just things that I've noticed, and if you manage to you know, come up with an argument against it, then feel free to leave it in the comment section down below, um, but don't, just don't come on here and like preach, like if you're not going to answer or like actually have a discussion, then I mean, if you enjoy it, then just enjoy the video, but um. <clears throat> The whole argument about heaven. I mean, let me let me get this out of the way. This was very funny. <laughs> I love some of the takes that he put on uh, God and things like that. Because I believe that if God was real, he would be, or she, or whatever it is, would be just like a regular person. Like, they have, like, they have things that they like, things they don't like. Um, they're not going to sit here and have this eternal fucking grudge against you because you did something bad and oh because you died before it happened that means i can never forgive you ever and it's like nobody thinks like that and if somebody did think like that they're not somebody worthy of worship like why would you want to even bother like giving praise to someone like that and the whole argument about heaven i heard um matt dillahunty made a amazing um argument about argument about this and it was something i didn't really think about he said um now, he's an atheist. I can use myself as an example also because I'm an atheist. Now, I'm an atheist. The Bible says that I'm going to hell regardless. Like, it doesn't matter how good of a person I am. And you can put as many asterisks as you want to next to it. That's not what the Bible says. If you go, if you go against this, then you're no longer following Christian tradition. You're, like, creating your own little sect of Christianity. But the principles of christianity say that in order to be saved you have to accept jesus christ as your lord and savior now as an atheist obviously i don't do that so that means i'm guaranteed for hell now if heaven is a place that is that you're always like eternally happy you're never sad only good things happen um things like that how would I have a hard time believing that my family, my mom, my dad, my sisters, my brothers, if they did, let's say heaven did exist and they did get to heaven. Um, I have a hard time believing that they would have a, like just be, have a nonstop good time knowing that their son is in hell being tortured and burned and stuff for all eternity. So either heaven isn't always happy and rainbows and things like that you still feel sadness you still feel like those negative emotions or if you do constantly feel happiness then that means it's no longer you because if i had a kid that was atheist and let's say i converted to christianity or something and i had a kid that was atheist and they died if i'm going to heaven i'm going to be sad over the fact that my kid is that i know that my kid is in hell now if now, if they're in hell and I'm in heaven, 
there's no way I'm going to be enjoying myself because I know there's always something missing. Like, I know my kid is supposed to be up here with me and they're not, so that's it's always going to be with me. Now, in order to make me forget about that, God would have to completely wipe whatever it is that's me in this, like, whatever I am, he would have to get rid of it because he would have to make me forget about my kid and things like that. And if that is the case, then you're no longer you. You're just this little shell of a being that's just like going through the motions of being happy in heaven like that you're never happy <laughs> like it's like you you would have to get lobotomized in order to like enjoy heaven the way that it's preached that you're supposed to enjoy it um like i said there uh there's a lot of different things about it if god was omnipotent um it doesn't matter if he doesn't want to be a creep or not every time he masturbate or have sex or pick your nose or fart or anything like that he is right there <laughs> his nose is crammed right near your butt when you be letting those goddamn air biscuits go and i'm pretty sure he does not enjoy it um anytime you go to the bathroom he is right there in that motherfucker so you sitting here spraying and stuff it ain't helping because he was in there the entire time so <laughs> that's how that, that's that's probably why he's so goddamn grumpy and and easy to fucking hold a grudge for so long because he's always around when we do the bad shit too <laughs> anyway that's been this video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe and share i'm gonna move on to another video i hope to see you guys there i'm the original renaissance man devon da vinci signing out deuces